This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. All right, we're going to multiply these three complex numbers together. It's similar to multiplying any three numbers together. You could first do the, let's say you have 3 times 2 times 5, you could first multiply the 3 times 2 and then take that answer and multiply by the 5 to get 30. And of course you could do the 2 times 5 first and then multiply by 3 because of the associative property. We're going to use the same exact procedure here. So we're going to multiply these first two numbers together. And I'm going to put the answer in parentheses. And you could do it on scratch, but I'll show all the steps right here. 3 times negative 4, it's sort of like the FOIL method, right? 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And then we have 3 times i, which is plus 3i. And then the inner terms will be plus 8i. And then the last terms will be minus 2i squared. And don't forget to bring down the 2 plus 5i. So we really haven't got what's in parentheses looking like a complex number yet. We want to simplify that a little bit more. So I've got negative 12. 3i plus 8i is really 11i. And what's going on here with this minus 2i squared? So remember that i squared is negative 1. So really you've got negative 2 times negative 1. That will be then a plus 2. So I'm not writing out that step just to save a little space here. And I still have to remember to write the 2 plus 5i over here. And I still need to combine my real parts, the negative 12 plus 2. So I finally have it looking like a complex number in the form a plus bi. So those are the steps for multiplying the first two numbers, 3 minus 2i times negative 4 plus i. All right, so now we just do this again. Now we're going to do the FOIL method and complete the problem from here. So we have negative 10 times 2, and then negative 10 times 5i, negative 50i, 11i times 2 plus 22i, and 11i times 5i is plus 55i squared. Now I don't need to put that in parentheses because I'm not going to multiply it by another number. But if there were four numbers, I'd keep that in parentheses, and then when I'm done with that, I'd multiply it by another number, etc. So we've got negative 20. All right, now we can combine the negative 50i and plus 22i. That'll be a negative 28i. And what's going on over here? We've got this i squared. Remember, just remember i squared is the same thing as negative 1. I'm just going to Make a little note. Remember, that's just the same thing as negative 1. That's why this became plus 2. So that'll give me minus 55, because I have 55 times negative 1. Minus 55. And then our last thing is to combine the negative 20 and the negative 55. Negative 75 minus 28i. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.